Douglas Cooling and Heating. Serving the Birmingham area for 38 years. 988-3706. That's Douglas. I'm James Spann. This is the morning edition of the Weather Extreme video for Friday, the third day of December. Getting set for an Arctic blast next week. As the coldest air so far this season rolls in here, let's uh, take a look and talk about how cold and the timing. Pretty cold this morning. Uh, many spots are at or below freezing. That's the view coming from Montevallo, overlooking the campus of the University of Montevallo in the foreground. Back in the distance, you can see downtown Montevallo. Look at downtown Tuscaloosa. That is the intersection of University Boulevard and Greensboro Avenue. And in Clanton... Got that tree illuminated nicely. They have the lighting ceremony last night. The Christmas parade is tonight, and I will be there for that. Kicks off at 6 o'clock. Hope to see a lot of you down there. Here's a water vapor satellite shot, and we've got that northwest flow aloft, and some energy will come down that uh, tomorrow. Maybe squeezing out a shower or a sprinkle somewhere tomorrow afternoon, but today we'll be in good shape. Numbers this morning, the colder pockets over there in East Alabama, 20s for Anniston and Gadsden. You got Birmingham, Tuscaloosa, and the Shelby County Airport at 33, Montgomery at 32. And around the nation, you can see that really cold air up over the uh, Northwest Territories of uh, Canada. Cold spot up there, 43 below zero. And that's going to want to drop south next week and make it turn really cold over much of the uh, central and eastern U.S. Up on the uh, watch warning map, a little clipper type system bringing snow to. The region from Bismarck, North Dakota, down to Chicago. Pick up a few inches in through there. Some heavier snow maybe around Minneapolis, St. Paul. They might pick up six inches. And around here, things look pretty dry for the next five days. This is the uh, expected precipitation through Tuesday evening next week at 6 o'clock. And suggesting nothing measurable here. And again, there could be a few raindrops tomorrow afternoon, but uh, not enough to measure more than likely. Now, let's check the GFS. This is the uh, OZ run, valid at 12 noon today. There's your northwest flow aloft down below that. Another nice sunny day and a little warmer today. Temperatures will head up toward the 60-degree mark, and that'll feel pretty good. Tomorrow, there comes that little clipper, and you can see uh, that little stretch of green in there, and that means the chance of a few sprinkles or maybe a shower, nothing beyond that. And then on Sunday, a 1,036 millibar Arctic high begins to nose in here. And the weather turns colder, with highs only in the upper 40s and a pretty chilly north wind. We'll go to next week on uh, Monday. You see that very cold pattern setting up for the east. Down below that, uh, windy, cold, highs in the uh, mid-40s. Sky will be sunny, dry weather next week, no uh, rain or snow. And on Tuesday... And the cold air deepens, and Wednesday looks like it might be the coldest day. The 540 line drops down there to Mobile. And again, really on uh, both of those days, we might have a hard time getting out of the 30s. This run not quite as cold as recent runs, but whatever. It's going to be awfully cold. Lows getting down toward the 20-degree mark, and we should see teens for the colder valleys. And then on Thursday, we'll start a slow moderating trend. And a week from today, a little energy comes through the flow that uh, is de-amplifying. And again, that suggests we could see a few showers at the end of next week. And then on Saturday, the 11th, that uh, disturbance is on by. And on the 12th, hey, now, come on. Cold air nosing in here and still moisture down to the south. That almost suggests maybe a snowflake at Montgomery. But again, that would be uh, fairly dry and cold on the 12th we'll look at the uh, european on the 12th and it's got a lot of rain the rain is much farther north but so is the uh, colder air so this would suggest a rain event on the 12th and again this is of course out there in voodoo country and this will change again but that seems like maybe the next decent rain event out there and then the uh, 13th the gfs shows a flush of very cold air even colder than the air we're talking about next week uh, so we'll see if that all verifies. On the 18th, the flow de-amplifies completely. And a gentle uh, west-to-northwest flow, and that shows the cold air well to the north. 
a week before Christmas, if that happens to be correct. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes on the blog. Uh, we will be doing one video today because of the travel schedule. Uh, Brian Peters will have the videos tomorrow and Sunday. My next video will be Monday morning at 7. So thanks for watching. Have a wonderful weekend, and God bless.